You've probably been shown a hundred times how to use one of these bad boys, but do you know why you're actually using it? Do you know what it actually does and the whole purpose behind it? Snakes don't actually know where our veins are in our system, so they can't actually inject the venom directly into our bloodstream, which is great for us, because some kinds of venom have what we call procoagulants. And if they enter the bloodstream, they can cause a series of tiny little clots that will float around the bloodstream, get lodged in the brain, heart, lungs, and they could potentially cause stroke, heart attack, pulmonary embolism. So we want to slow the progression of that venom actually making it to the bloodstream. Because the proteins in some kinds of venom are quite large, they often really struggle to cross that capillary membrane into the bloodstream and instead they're left floating in our lymphatic system. Now your lymphatic system is a very separate system to the bloodstream. The bloodstream has a heart which pumps the blood around the body quite quickly, but the lymph moves relatively slow through smooth muscle contraction or through our actual muscles contracting. At some point the lymph does rejoin the bloodstream, so we want to stop it getting in there. To do that, we want to apply enough pressure to those lymphatic vessels to close them off and slow down that movement of lymph. So you grab your pressure immobilization bandage and you start wrapping. These little snake bandages have got rectangles, which are your pressure indicators. As soon as they turn into squares, that's the kind of pressure that you need to keep. We still need blood flow and oxygen to reach that limb because otherwise the tissue will die off. We only want to compress the lymph, which sits higher in the surface of the skin than the blood vessels do. So for that reason, we do not apply tourniquets. We still need blood flow. Once you've applied your pressure mobilization bandage, keep the patient nice and still. We do not want to encourage that movement. Put an X marks the spot where the bite site was. We can come along, get a swab, go and get the right antivenom and start treating. This does not save the life. This buys you time. It buys you time to get to the hospital, time to get the right antivenom on board. If you wanna know how to put one of these on properly, follow us over to the next video and I'll show you how.